Good day, YouTube. It's John, and I'm back with another DIY. It's a sort of a different setup today. Um, we're going to try something different. I have the camera set up on my DVD shelf because today is a different type of DIY. I have no idea if you guys are going to be able to see me, but I got it set up for a reason. So today we are going to create a display shelf. So this is going to be broke down in several parts. I am not going to be sitting down the whole time, but I just thought I'd sit down now. So without further ado, Let's get into this, but let's get into what you're going to need for this. A knife. Mine's a tiny knife. And a pair of pliers. And don't forget about the base shelf that you're going to use to build this. Yes, a shelf. You're already going to be using a shelf. You're probably telling, asking yourself, John, why are you building a display shelf if you already have a shelf? Well, if you watch in my previous videos, you would notice that this shelf was used to hold my Funko Pops. But this shelf has seen better days. So we're going to use this as the basis for our shelf. So this will be step one, and I will be going through each and every step on this shelf to build it. But I am going to lower the camera to where you just see the shelf and not me. Okay, with the camera lowered, you can now see the shelf. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to... Get rid of this back piece. We are going to get rid of this side piece. We are going to get rid of this other side piece. And all the trim, if you can see it, all the trim up here, we're going to get rid of as well. So let's get into it. So you're probably saying to yourself, how are you going to do it? With a knife. You can use a pair of scissors. If you don't have a shelf like this just sitting around. I believe these, this was a bathroom shelf. Let me turn it around to show you what I'm doing. So you're just going to cut this whole back piece off. Very easy. You can just rip the shit off as after you've cut it. And more than likely, it'll also rip the side off too, which it did. So, But if you're doing this with one of these that has this material on it, like so, you want to be very careful. Trust me, this is the easy part of it. Getting all of this stuff off of it. A very easy part. But when you're using a knife, just be careful. You don't want to cut yourself. Okay. So, so far I got the back done and both sides done. Now, 
for the hard part. Not necessarily a hard part. As you can see, I am now doing the trim. You may not need the pliers for this. If you have a good enough good enough knife, then it may may be easy. Now let's flip it around. And get the next. So far, so good. You will need the pliers to remove any excess staples. That are in it. Use the knife to pop that off. That's if you go with this. If not, and you just go with a regular shelf that you buy, this will be a lot easy. You can pretty much skip this step. But me, I like to recycle. And this is a recycled shelf. If you're going this route and you have one of these, or a shelf just like it, then you'll go this route. And remember people, clean up is always important. This is going to be a quick didn't think this was going to be a quick breakdown of this. I thought it would be a little bit more harder. Didn't think it would be this easy. Thought I was going to at least need pliers. But you got to think, this is an old shelf. So there you have it, the full thing cleaned up, I mean not technically completely cleaned up, but you're left with a frame. <coughs> Let me do a little bit of cleaning up and we'll be back. Now after a quick cleanup, and that is the final final result for this one, I will be doing a complete pull of any staples that are in this, any excess fabric from the rest of it, but uh, that's pretty much what you're going to do. You're going to end up with a pretty much empty sh frame. Um, yeah, you're going to pretty much end up with pretty much an empty frame of a thing. Um, you can also build, build your own. I'm using this because I like to recycle. Um... Let's talk about what you're going to need in the next video. In the next video, you're going to need some of this. I'm not using this one because it's too damaged, and I like to use it as a placemat for my table. But you're going to use some of this. Um, 
you're going to use, yes, we are going to use some duct tape, but we're not going to completely cover it in duct tape. Um, I'm probably going to buy two sheets of this. Um, update, upcoming video for the next part of this. I will be just building the frame. The frame of the styrene plaid poster board. So, not only will I be building the frame, I will be taking measurements. And I will give the measurements because you're not building that big of a shelf, a display shelf. And the display shelf we are building, I'm building myself a mystery minis display shelf because you know I do a shit ton of those videos and I have a shit ton of mystery minis um so yeah um the supplies for the next video um you're going to need as tools um knife box cutter scissors any of those um I'm using two sheets of this just in case. Tape measure. Um, a dark, no, a light colored marker. Could be white. Anything of the sort. I'm gonna figure, I'm gonna have to buy myself a white one. Which is going to suck because the one I had dried out. Um, I'm going to use either some Gorilla Glue. I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue. I'm going to use some Gorilla Glue or some Super Glue or some type of glue to glue these pieces together. I might buy a glue gun, a hot glue gun, a might. And then we'll use some duct tape to hold it together, to make sure it stays together. Then we will get back to the actual shelf of putting it all on the shelf. That'll probably be video two, video number three, putting this frame on that shelf. And then I'll explain in video video three what we will be doing after that. So take care guys. You have a great day.